it too. Hey y'all, it's your girl Imara, also known as Soul Style Beauty, and today I am finally, listen, finally doing this review on the Fenty Powder Foundations and the Gloss Bomb Queen. So I'm super excited because I was waiting on my Sephora package and they were delayed because you know the post office was delayed and blase, blase, and I finally got the products. So today is that day. So this is not the first time I filmed this review. It was in shambles yesterday, <laughs> so I'm trying again. So I'm hoping that this video goes as planned. We're gonna be reviewing the powder foundations. Now I got the shade 360, which is like my concealer highlighting shade, and I also got the shade 430, which is my regular foundation shade. So I know you guys already know the claims, but I'm going to quickly say it, that this foundation is buildable, lightweight to medium coverage. Most of my foundations are medium coverage, so I don't have a problem with that at all. So, these foundations retail for $36 each, which is still not bad. non cakey doesn't settle into fine lines, told you it retails for $36. believe that's all the claims. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so we're already starting out this video well moisturized and I have a lip product on. So I use the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. This has been a favorite for a good month now and also my Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. So what I'm gonna do is half of my face, I'm gonna try with the powder products and then half of my face, I'm gonna put the Fenty foundation on, the hydrating foundation that I love and I'm gonna put the powder over the foundations because I wanna think about how I personally wear foundation. Um, so I'm like, okay, some days I might want to go with the powder versus wearing the foundation and on top of that, the Fenty Powder Foundation. So the very first thing I'm going to do is go in with the Hydrating Longwear Foundation. This finish is bomb. This side of my face will be foundation and then this side will be only powder. So, let go. Now I'm going to go in on this side with the powder. Okay, so I know that this powder foundation usually has like applicators, but I usually don't really, I don't know, apply it with that. I like to go in with a brush. Now for this foundation, you want to go in with a pretty dense brush. That's how you're going to get like a, you know, more coverage. Um, if you go in with like a, a brush that's not so dense, it's not going to um, show up. So definitely make sure that you go with a dense brush. the powder on this side now I'm gonna go on top of this side with the foundation and apply the powder on top all right so this is the side with just powder it looks like skin, oh my gosh. And this is the side with the foundation and powder. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with my Fenty Concealer in the shade 385 as my highlighting shade.
done blending in that concealer and I have to say I'm not mad at all at how this actually blended out on top of the powder. So I'm going to go in with the shade 360 as my highlighting shade. And I'm just basically going to tap this into the skin wherever I highlight it. my face and then come back and talk about what I noticed about the powders. All right, so I went back, I finished my face, and I have to say I absolutely love this foundation. So before I just rant about what I love about this same foundation, I'm going to go back to the claims. So it says that this powder is non-cakey. Yes, it is non-cakey. Um, it said it has a blurred finish. Yes. It definitely has a blurred finish and it says no flashback. So I'm going to take a picture with flash to make sure that it has no flashbacks. Yes. Okay. It looks, it looks amazing. Is it buildable? Yes, it's buildable. It says that it can be layered um, without settling into fine lines or clogging the look of pores. So yes, it does have a smooth finish. Let me just check on the fine lines. Yeah, I think that it has a smooth finish. I don't see the powder settling in to any lines, so that's great as well. So I think it lifts up, honestly, to all its claims. I love this, and I can see myself, you know, using this on days, like going to work. If I don't want, like, a you know, to do the most, but I want to look well put together, I'm going to put on this powder. Um, but if I want to do it up a little bit, I might layer the foundation with the powder foundation. So, let's move on to the gloss balm. Uh, so now we're going to talk about the Fenty Gloss Balm Cream. So basically, I got them in the shade Fenty Glow, Cookie Jar, and Honey Waffles. And these just made the most sense when it came down to um, what I wear, like as far as makeup. So I didn't get mom wipes just because it, it looked a little purple. And I was like, I really don't wear purple, especially as a gloss. And then the red one, usually if I do wear red lip, it's matte. So basically, that's why I settled on these three shades. So we're going to get into the try-ons, and I'm going to start with Fenty Glow. gloss balm cream in the shade honey waffles and this is one of my favorite favorite shades first I'm gonna line my lips using the NYX lip liner in the shade expresso Ryan <laughs> favorite like I haven't fell in love with a gloss in a long time but this I feel like it will look bomb in all seasons date night daytime like wherever you're going I feel like this can be a such a pretty color and I don't even know how to explain it because it can pass as a nude but then it kind of has like that orange like tint to it but it looks beautiful on brown skin. Alright, so the last shade I'm actually going to try on is Cookie Jar. And I actually put a liner on already. The same NYX Espresso Dark Brown Liner. And I'm going to just apply this. Like, I felt like if she would have came out with this shade in the fall, do you know this would have been flying out off the shelves? But the thing is, I feel like now it's winter. Like, I wouldn't really go for this shade or pick it up as often because the season that we're in, like I said, fall 
this would have been bomb. All right, y'all, so that's the end of this video of the review and try on of the powder foundations and the Fenty Gloss Balm Creams. If you're not subscribed to my channel, definitely hit subscribe down below. Don't forget to turn on bell notifications so you never miss a video from me. And I'll see you in my next video. Later, y'all.